God, what are we going on now? 18 months, two years since Jordan Peterson has been doing long form interviews. And man, since the last time when he was making the rounds, it the fucking tactics haven't changed from the media because right now, yeah, he's just being misrepresented as being a schizophrenic. Now listen, okay? Followed as closely as I could. There is much information that was out there. The dude when it had a rough couple of years, let's be completely honest about that. The rough timeline is his wife was diagnosed with cancer. He became more dependent on benzos. He ended up going into detox. It became a very long drawn out process over there. He got the coof. His recovery time was a little bit longer than expected. And now he's back. There's two years just condensed into what? Five six seconds a lot more intricate than that but it'll suffice for this video and you guys remember okay if you were paying attention to any of the interviews that he was doing at the time constantly 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 he was edited incorrectly by the likes of vice or the interviewer was 100 percent combative and totally against him and tried to prove how much smarter they were than he was, which is a fool's errand, by the likes of GQ and famously Channel 4 with Kathy Newman. So what you're saying is, you guys probably remember that one, great time, great time. But the Sunday Times, probably, I think this is the most significant one. He's had a couple of different podcasts out there. He interviewed the likes of Matthew McConaughey, which enough with him already. Okay, listen, f dazed and confused is cool and all, but if I need some kind of milk toast conservative, I'll just turn back or tune back into the Daily Wire. But yeah, the first opportunity that the media has to prove that they aren't scared of the potential resurgence of Jordan Peterson, they proved that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, this is one of those things where Peterson is purposefully misrepresented his stance on pretty much everything always gets the least charitable interpretation if you guys weren't around for the forced monogamy debate or debacle rather i think that was stemming from vice or no uh the vice one was this a good enough example the women wearing makeup in the workplace they were having a perfectly logical debate about whether it's ethical for women to be wearing makeup in the workplace you can have your opinions on it whatsoever but the way that they framed it was Peterson was 100% against that based on reasons. Meanwhile, they were just having a conversation about it because it was brought up because The Vice is a social justice warrior newspaper, which Peterson valiantly fought against for, what, three years when he was in public life before the events of 20, uh, late 2018 through now have gone through. And I wasn't aware of any previous interviews with the Sunday Times that he had specifically i know they have a record it's one of those things i'm pretty sure the sunday times is equivalent to the new york times over here where they're held in high esteem but at the same time they like to pull all these kind of stunts and this one's especially egregious especially because the dude's just on the rebound and it goes to show you anybody who pushes against the ideological purpose that the media is trying to push they will slander without regard and they will come after you repeatedly you see it with trump all the time and it's happening to probably the only academic uh outside of gadsad can't put that out there more strongly they will come after you repeatedly so yeah, here's the most outlandish claim I've seen to date. Media outlets falsely claim that Jordan Peterson has schizophrenia. That's um, that's a hot take. Dr. Jordan B. Peterson has been recently making the, his return to the spotlight following a tragic year of fighting multiple health issues. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, 18 months to a year, something like that. As a result of his um, upcoming book, he has been the subject of a number of interviews and some are seemingly more fair than the others. The Times in the UK has released one such interview with Dr. Peterson in which the interviewer falsely claimed he was schiz... Oh, that he has schizophrenia. Is a schizophrenic. Whatever. Must have a word count at the post-millennial. He does not. No. No, we he's not a schizophrenic. The title of this article or this interview seems pretty accurate okay jordan peterson on his depression drug dependency and russian rehab hell yeah okay everything seems on the up and up to begin with times has got out of its way to paint an inaccurate picture of dr peterson and his family michaela peterson was also interviewed by the times she told post millennial that we were misrepresented in a very disturbing way that has caused causing serious stress to our family not something that they're terribly unused to but it's disturbing that they haven't changed their tactics and nobody really expected them to as a result the times article a number of other media outlets have reported on the story of dr peterson having schizophrenia that includes such outlets like new york post oh 
the Post, really, and the Daily Mail, of course. In these cases, however, the outlets are likely not reporting on the story with any malice, no, because they're fairly lazy. The source of the misrepresentation comes from the original Times article. The context of the interview surrounds Dr. Peterson's year-long hiatus following his wife, oh, his wife's kidney cancer diagnosis. Yes, Dr. Peterson had a paradoxical reaction to benzodiazepines. Subsequently, yes, leading to akathiasia. I'm not pronouncing that right, and I'm not going to try again. A condition in which one is unable to stop moving. That sucks. But yeah, just going over everything that I just outlined to begin with. And yeah, he's back on the trail because 12 more rules for life. Life is on its way out, even at the behest of Penguin Random House up here in Canada, just fucking spurging out on an hourly basis, I'm sure. Like old recess when back you when you guys were back in grade school, yeah, they probably just have a Jordan Peterson cryathon. The fact that they uh, have to work on this and publish it. Oh, I'm glad in this article they have it linked as well. It's a three hour long interview, completely uncut, released by Peterson because well, that's what he was doing after everybody originally started to chop up his interviews. I think that's stemming from the Vice interview where somebody, some good soul at Vice, who's probably summarily dismissed right after that released the entire unedited interview and it painted a much different picture so at least you had the wherewithal to record this one so yeah listen to it at your own leisure i suppose stretching to almost three hours long yes the interview is filled with nuance and details that were left out of the times piece most prominently the piece claims dr peterson was diagnosed with schizophrenia and written even op and the writer even opines that after 80 minutes in Zoom, the one thing which I'm certain is that were I as close to death as she assures me her father repeatedly was, this is not a person I would entrust with saving my life. Well, I hope this bitch is writing about Back Boy in a week's time. One such Twitter user named Rob Henderson points out parts of the interview transcript which are inaccurate. All right, here we go. So it took about, it took until August this summer to actually diagnose him with akathasia. Unfortunately, I have to repeat that which is a side effect of a medication, but he was bounced from, you know, bipolar depression, one person diagnosing him with schizophrenia. It was like, he's just not, he's in pain because of these medications. So yes, doctors were diagnosing him, proving, yeah, that they really didn't know what the fuck was going on. And one person diagnosed him with schizophrenia. One out of what is most assuredly dozens of doctors he's seen over the past years. So these conversations had with a, well, with his psychiatrist as he thinks it's schizophrenia. And I was like, these symptoms don't even start until he started the medication. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Side effects from a drug? No, you don't say. Okay, so you're telling me a mid-50-year-old man with no previous symptoms of schizophrenia starts to get schizophrenic? Yeah. Um, possible, right? Possible. Highly unlikely. He would also, and his family would also understand that being around a high-level psychologist for such a long time. Unless there was such a tremendous mental break, that would be highly unlikely. So they were right to be a little bit skeptical of that diagnosis. It's not like we're uneducated on these things. Yeah, how it finishes off, right? I was like, what? Very high quality conversation. Dr. Peterson does not have schizophrenia. Yeah, mm, we know that. His symptoms were not found to be a side effect of the, oh, his, yeah, his symptoms were later found to be a side effect of the medication. Wow, hopefully my doctor, it's in the mail. Passed off the unedited recording. The framing of the piece is clearly misleading. Yeah, obviously. I'll probably try to listen to this. It is three hours long, but you can probably listen to it on what? One and a half, two times speed. So I'll make some time for it. I don't anticipate anything great or anything that I don't know to come out of it. But at the same time, might as well get a good insight of how the media is going to start handling people that I like, that you guys would probably like too, if you've taken the time to watch, listen, and follow the work of Peterson since 2016, whenever Bell C-16 came out. Been a long journey and it's going to continue to get rockier because people who speak the truth are constantly, constantly, constantly accosted by the likes of Deca Dickhead. Oh, I'm sorry, Atkin Head. That's not a real name. Get a better name. Get a pen name. And Kathy Newman. And you guys know the entire cabal. But in the time that they've just been refining their grift, we've been learning how to much better approach the fake news ecosystem. Your tricks don't work here. With that said, do enjoy the rest of your evening, and thank you very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo, I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.